a year because they believed that this would take away their sins. But then she started to take lessons in Taekwondo. And probably that's why Brother Kwan Kep liked this book so much because he's a martial artist himself. And, but the instructor was also a Christian. And this is what you call a professional missionary. So you, are, you have a profession. In his case, he's teaching martial arts. But at the same time, you're instructing your students in the ways of the Lord. He eventually had hundreds of students. And he, they would begin with prayer. And in the name of Jesus. And he would speak about Jesus to them. Now listen, this is in a Muslim country. But said that the country could be in Afghanistan. For you know who is in Afghanistan? And this was just a, a few years ago. She speaks about civil war in her country. And there was civil war in Afghanistan. And so, and she speaks about communist rule. There was communist rule in Afghanistan. So I suspect it was there. Now, a Christian who goes to a majority Muslim country is in danger his or if he or she even proposes to shake a Muslim. I remember years ago, I was a part of Gasparillo, to a two Gasparillo. One uh, of Porsches had gone to visit her husband. Her husband was working at the time in Saudi Arabia. And she had taken a Bible him. So she had two Bibles in her bag. When the customs were open her bag and saw two Bibles, they said, we're going to have to deport you immediately. Because mere fact that you came with not one, because they allow you one Bible. But if you come with two, that means you're going to evangelize. So going down high ranking people, she was able to stay in the country and give him his Bible. But it's worse in some other countries. Because when you allow you to have your Bible, you can worship privately. In Muslim countries, they give Christians a plot of land. That's what Dubai is creating a plot of land. And then you God. Don't worship outside of that land, you know. Make sure you stay in that plot of land and worship God. People have executed for speaking about Jesus to Muslims. We have recent case. Woman, it was Kistan. Yes, I forgot about him now. Just something like that, right? All you have is a woman. And she only said something about God. And they claimed that she insulted the Prophet Muhammad. And for that, she was called to court and sentenced to death. Only because world tension and the powers that be among the European countries and the United States intervened her. And even when she got the death sentence, Muslim Bagrat still wanted her. I'm trying to drive home to you. The rule said it is in a Muslim country to talk about this. When I was in the parish of Maruga. I know so much in India. I heard <gasps> big gas congregation. Oh, Indonesia is the largest Muslim country. Well, at that time, about 200 million Muslims. But I did 